Once you've launched your podcast and have started to grow, Buzzsprout provides two easy ways to start monetizing your podcast. The first is Buzzsprout ads, where you make money by including advertisements inside your episodes. The second are Buzzsprout subscriptions, where you can accept payments and publish subscriber-only content. And since you don't have to offer premium content at launch, Buzzsprout subscriptions provide a clear path to a listener-supported podcast. I'll show you how you can set up your subscription and start accepting payments in less than two minutes. To start, log into your account, click monetization, subscriptions, and then get started. By default, your subscription will be called the name of your podcast with a plus. You can rename your offering if pick a message that's right for you. Next, decide what type of subscription you want to launch. Recurring support doesn't obligate you to create any new content. Your listeners get the same episodes as before, but you give them an opportunity to support your show with a monthly contribution. You can select premium content if you're going to create episodes that are exclusive to your paid subscribers. You can do this by clicking subscriber only when uploading a new episode to make it exclusive to paying subscribers. Now, subscribers are able to pay more than the minimum. We borrowed this from the value for value model where people could decide that your show is worth more and support you with a larger amount. We recommend starting with recurring support until you have the bandwidth to start creating premium content. Finally, you can add additional information. We recommend using this section to set realistic expectations for what your subscribers will receive. You don't want to say they'll get a bonus episode every week if that's not feasible for you. Now, click create subscription and you're all set. Your Buzzsprout subscription is now live and on your Buzzsprout website. Now I'll show you how this works for your listeners on my phone. You'll see prompts to subscribe to your Buzzsprout subscription on your website. And there's also prompts like this on every episode's page. And when listeners subscribe, they'll be able to include their name, email address, and pick an emoji to give you a sense of their personality. If you set up recurring support, then you're all set. If you set up premium content, then your listeners will now get a private RSS feed that includes subscriber-only episodes, and they can quickly add this to their favorite podcast app. Now, their private feed is unique to them, so it includes a link to manage their subscription inside their episode show notes. When you get a new subscriber, two things are going to happen. First, you'll get an email that you got a new subscriber, and their name, email, and emoji will all show up inside your dashboard. This way you can thank them in your next episode or reach out to them directly with an email. You can also track your subscription growth over time and project your earnings for the current month. Now, Buzzsprout takes 15% of all subscriptions to cover credit card fees and to run Buzzsprout subscriptions, but there's no monthly fee, so you won't end up paying anything until you start making money from your subscription. All of your earnings will be stored in your Buzzsprout wallet where you can cash them out to your bank account or use them to pay your next Buzzsprout invoice. We built Buzzsprout subscriptions to make it as easy as possible for podcasters at any level to start receiving recurring support or offer premium content to their podcast listeners. You can launch your subscription today in less than two minutes. And since it's all built into Buzzsprout, you won't ever have to worry about an extra bill or managing multiple platforms. It truly is the easiest way to launch a premium version of your show. As always, thanks for watching. Keep podcasting.